50, 60, 100 years ago, they were seen as great income for residents. And indeed, I have a friend whose father used to camp down in Wellfleet every fall to drive pilot ones. Today, it's a very different story. Now we're taking care of these critters. They've shrank. Now these are white-sided dolphins. But here we are at Herring Cove Beach at the end of the Dolphin Highway, as I like to call it, because we've created a highway from Wellfleet to Herring Cove. And the International Fund for Animal Welfare, as it now is, was the Cape Cod Australian Network. They had great pains to pick these guys up, put them in special carts, and take mud from them. We even ultrasound them in the trailer now. And um, if they're in good shape, we'll send them off to Herring Cove. And when everybody's ready, they'll all get put in the water and you know, wave goodbye and say, come back another year for another hitchhike. So we put radio and uh, satellite tags on the dorsal fins and take care of them as best we can. <coughs> and um, actually, as, as, as an aside, the technology, this is all old technology, it's just about two years ago, but one of the problems with all these, these tags is that they, the bolts don't necessarily all let go at the same time, but now we're getting to the point where we have a single bolt through the trailing edge of the dorsal fin, and that seems to be a much better way to go. But we get data, uh, we track these guys, and we, we learn where they go. This particular bunch hung out in Cape Cod Bay for a while. But you know, this is just really a sort of preface to you know, what we do with marine mammals in the region here and around the world, and how we use uh, tools and technologies that have evolved. But and also behaviors that really are rooted in what people learned to do in these shores in the 1600s, 1700s, as it related to shore whaling for food and oil.